This video is meant to serve as a little resource for you in case you need a little backup, a little reminder as to how the dynamics of rational expressions work. And you'll see that again, these questions, 90% of what you're doing is just relying on your factoring skills. But there are things you're going to look at first. Step one, you want to check and see, do I have a division sign showing up here? Like in this case, I do. Often I won't, but when I do, then I want to focus on dealing with that right away because that could really throw things off if I don't take care of it as a priority. <clears throat> if I just go ahead and start factoring, then start canceling, I'm liable to cancel things that I'm not allowed to cancel. Like I might start canceling stuff from up here with stuff from down there, and that wouldn't work because when I execute this division properly and turn it into a multiplication, I'll see that this stuff that's down here actually lives up on top. And it would only be able to cancel the stuff that's down on the bottom, like this, anything that might come from this x squared minus 6x over here, or anything that might come from the stuff that I'm now putting on the bottom, which just comes from up there. So just to finish this last little step, I want to make sure to recopy the top of this fraction over here. Step one, you check for division. If there's division, you turn the division sign into a multiplication and you flip over the fraction that is after the division sign. Now that you've done that, you get into most of the work in rational expressions, which is factoring. And what the important thing is factor, 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 factor before you get to step three. Rational expressions, the thing that we remember most about them is the canceling you do but it's dangerous to start canceling too soon. Really, you got to factor as much as you can, absolutely finish all the factoring you can before you start canceling. Uh, so here in this case, I've got four different polynomials to consider or factoring. Uh, this one down here, x squared minus 6x, that's just got a GCF. Remember, always check for GCF first. This one here, I check for a GCF. There isn't one, and I see it's just x squared minus 11x plus 30. That's a simple trinomial, so I just need two numbers that multiply to positive 30 and add up to minus 11. So that's going to be minus 6 and minus 5. Now over here, I have x squared plus 5x minus 24. Again, after checking for a GCF, there is none. This is just a simple trinomial. I need two numbers that multiply to minus 24 and add up to positive 5. So it's going to be a plus 8 and a minus 3. And then finally, x squared plus 13 and x plus 40. That's, again, I check for a GCF. No GCF is there. I need two numbers that multiply to positive 40 and add up to 13. And they're going to be positive 8 and positive 5. Now that I've done all the factoring I can, really the fact that these are two separate fractions separated by this times here isn't really important. It's all just stuff on the top multiplied together. Like this times doesn't even really mean anything anymore. This is all just multiplied together top times top like any other fraction, bottom times bottom like any other fraction. So I've got four factors on the top, four factors on the bottom, and now I go and I see which actual factoring, which actual canceling I can do. They've got to match up exactly, right? Like, you see this x minus 5 here and this x plus 5, they're tempting to cancel, but they don't match exactly, so I can't cancel them. I can cancel this x minus 6 with this x minus 6. I can cancel this x plus 8 with this x plus 8. And then all the other guys that are left over, they just survive to the end of my answer, which looks like this, x minus 5 times x minus 3 over x times x plus 5. And that's how you handle rational expressions. You check for division first and foremost. Often it's not there, but it's very important if it's there to take care of it. Then you factor, factor, factor before doing any canceling. And at the end, once you've fully factored, you do your canceling. As long as you stick to that, you're in pretty good shape.